Hi, I'm Charlene with MyRecipes.com and today I'm going to show you how to make one of my holiday favorites, graham cracker gingerbread houses. Now first you want to get some graham crackers. The other main ingredient is royal icing, which is just confectioner's sugar and egg white and it dries really, really hard, kind of like glue. Now to make the actual house, one that looks a little bit like this, we're going to need two graham crackers for the walls, two more for the roof, and then we want to take an extra piece on the side and break it in half for the walls on the side. You want to ice the long pieces because this is the same piece that you're going to balance your roof on. Just squeeze a line of icing onto the inside seam. You want it to be about the thickness of what you'd squeeze out of a mustard bottle. You just take one of the iced pieces and one of the short pieces and you line it up perpendicularly and you squeeze it into the icing, just like that. And then you take the final piece and you just close up the box. Now when you're making gingerbread houses out of graham crackers, there's two things that you want to keep in mind. One is to assemble in parts and the second is to leave enough time to dry. So right now, we're going to just make that. We're going to make the roof separately, that's assembling in parts. You want to take the long side and just put a really generous squirt of icing all the way down. And then you want to take the other long side and stick it together at the angle that you would like. Now if you want to make a fancier house with this uh, full wall, um, graham crackers are actually, they're a little bit like particle board in that you can shape them and sculpt them. So for example, if I want to get that look, I just break it to the size I need and then I use a serrated knife, kind of like what you have for a steak knife and very gently I saw away. And it makes a really, really clean cut. Well, here's one that I made last night and we're going to get ready to assemble. You just want to ice along the top seam of the longer cracker and ice pretty generously because this is what's gluing the roof to the rest of the house. So go twice if you want to. And then you just take your roof, which is already dried and is also very, very sturdy, and you just place it right on top and squish down a little bit. And you might even want to pick it up just to make sure that it's touching on all sides. And this one looks great. And again, just leave for half an hour. You can let your imagination run wild. For example, you can make little teeny tiny cottages for small children to decorate. Or for your architecture buffs, you could do a mid-century modern. Um, or for people who are really, really ambitious, you could do a mock tutor. Um, and the only thing to remember when doing this is to saw really, really carefully and to assemble your walls first with the seams, let those dry, and then put everything together. Okay, good luck.